Chapter 10, A Marriage Proposal While Mr. Bumble waited for Mrs. Corney's return from old Sally's deathbed, he admired the furniture and the many valuables of silver in the room, and examined the closets, a padlocked box lay in the top of the door, he shook it, and heard the clicking of many coins. I'll do it, he said firmly. I'm so disgusted, said the lady, appearing at last. Those old hags are such a nuisance. Relax, Mrs. Corney, and have some wine. After Mr. Brumble poured it, Miss Corney drank half a teacup. Mr. Bumble reached for her hand. The master of this workhouse is deathly ill, said Mr. Bumble. When he dies, someone will have to replace him. I could do that job very well. We could live here together. Will you say the word, dear Mrs. Corney? Y yes. Now let me be of service to you and arrange with Mr. Sowerberry to get a coffin for old Sally. The undertaker and his wife were out for the evening when Mr. Bumble arrived. Charlotte, the servant, was serving dinner to Mr. Sowerberry's helper, Noah Claypole. But Noah, who had been drinking while Mr. Sowerberry was out, was not interested in food. Come here, Charlotte, and let me kiss you, said Noah. What? cried Mr. Bumble, bursting into the room. How dare you talk about such things? Leave the room, Charlotte. And you, Noah, tell Mr. Sowerberry to bring a coffin for an old woman tomorrow. Kissing indeed, 